In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about examination and evaluation. More often, the two terms that is examination and evaluation used interchangeably. In spite of the fact that both aim at the same thing or things they differ in so many ways. Evaluation is relatively a new term in the field of education. It has more extensive scope and is definitely more valid, objective and purposeful than examination. In CERT terms, evaluation as a systematic continuous process of determining the effectiveness of the learning experiences provided in the classroom. Evaluation is a continuous process. It forms an integral part of the total system of education and is intimately related to the educational objectives. It exercises a good influence on pupil study habits and the teacher method of instruction and thus helps not only to measure educational achievement but also to improve it. The techniques of evaluation are means of collecting evidence about the student's development in desirable directions. The main principles of evaluation are totality, quality and quantity, cooperation, objectives, selection, learning experiences, continuity, comprehensiveness, application and child-centeredness. An educational examination may be defined as the assessment of a person's performance when confronted with a series of questions, problems or tasks set in order to ascertain the amount of knowledge that he has acquired and the extent to which he is able to utilize or the quality and effectiveness of the skills he has developed. The examination is intended only to focus on the tangible and easily measurable objectives of education like knowledge and skills. The main difference between examination and evaluation are examination refers to a system where students are tested just at the end of a definite period of instruction. But in evaluation the changes brought in the behavior of the student through education are continuous. Evaluation helps in the continuous appraisal of such changes. Examination limits itself to the testing of knowledge and skills of the subject matter. But through evaluation, it is possible to test the overall changes brought in the behavior and personality of the child. Now try this. Define evaluation and bring out the relation between the terms examination and evaluation. 